Jeremiah chapter 2, this is God speaking. He says, I remember how eager you were to please me as a young bride long ago and how you loved me and how you followed me even through the barren wilderness. And sometimes we tend to think that God is just some judgmental, in control God up there. But listen to the words that he says. He says, I remember how eager you were to please me as a young bride long ago. He says, he says, I remember our honeymoon. He says, I remember the days when we were in love and you were in love with me and I was in love with you and, and everything that you did was just about me and you never forgot about me and you knew who I was and you just loved me even through the darkest of times and even through the darkest of valleys. I remember those days. And these are the words of that almighty God that sometimes we think is just controlling us or judgmental. Or This is the words of God. He says, I remember those days. He goes on in, in verse 5 and in his broken heart, he cries out and he says, What did your ancestors find wrong with me that led them to stray so far away? So this is a God who's saying, I remember the days when we were close. And he makes this plea with his own people and he says, but, but what did I do that, that made you leave so far away from me? And sometimes this resembles our lives. That, that God says he remembers the day when you were just in love with him, when you just discovered him and you just wanted to know everything about him and you just wanted to spend all your time on him and all your energy on him. And then he says, wait, 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 wait. But, but what did I do? that you had to leave? What did you do that so, sometimes we, we, just, we, just, we just leave God? We just walk away from Him and we, we pursue other things and God is saying, but, but all I've ever done is love you. All I've ever done is, is just have mercy on you and just love you and just, and just clothe you. And He says, but what, what did I do that had you go so far away from me? We go down to verse 11 and He says, has any nation ever traded its own gods for new ones, even though they were not gods at all? He's saying, I don't even know. This is God saying, I don't even know a people who have betrayed their false gods. He says, even the nations who serve false gods are true to their gods. But then he continues and he says, yet my people, he says, but my people have exchanged their glorious God for worthless idols. He says, my people have done two evil things. They have abandoned me, the fountain of living water, and they have dug for themselves cracked cisterns that hold no water. He says, my people have abandoned me to try to dig their own wells, to thinking that it would satisfy. But God is saying, they can't even hold water. He's saying, apart from me, you can't even hold any water. And we move down into verse 20 and God says, Long ago I broke the yoke that oppressed you and I tore away the chains of slavery. He's saying, Long ago I set you free. I, I did a mighty miracle for you. I broke the yoke that oppressed you. And he goes on and says, But still you said, I will not serve you. Verse 25, he says, When will you stop running? He says, When will you stop panting after other gods? But he says, you save your breath and say, no, 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 I am in love with these foreign gods and I can't stop loving them now. This is a plea from God. He says, when will you turn back to me? He says, I can't stop thinking. I just remember the time when we were just married and you just loved me. He says, when will you stop running away from me? He says, the more I pursue you, the more you just run. He says, when will you turn back and stop panting after those, those things that just only gratify and satisfy the flesh only for that limited period of time he says when will you turn from those things when will you come back to me he says he finishes up in verse 32 he says my people my people have forgotten about me and then this is the cry of God today he says my, my people my very own people who I loved and who, who I've taken from, 
from the, the yoke of slavery, the yoke that oppressed them. He says, my people, they have forgotten about me. But he says, I, I have not forgotten about them. He says, I remember them. He says, when will you stop running? When will you stop uh, panting after things that, that will never satisfy? When will you stop using your energy to build uh, holes and, and cisterns that don't even hold water? And sometimes you know that they won't hold any water. You know that they won't satisfy. And God just says, turn back to me. Come back to me. I, am, I have open arms and I, I love you. He says, I remember the days. He says, do you remember them? Do you remember the days and how in love we were? Come back to me.